Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Monkey Shine Lab. Such as it is, such as it always is. We are on our way to... God, why can't I ever get this seatbelt thing straightened out before I start filming? Do you notice that? One would think that I was habitual and semi-idiotic. No kid. Don't you just hate when you've already done something once and then you think you have to do it again because it might not be the resolution you've been working at lately? Oh, man. I hate when I'm stupid. We are going to... Uh, head on out. I got a couple of errands to do. And so while I'm out there, I figured we could go, uh, you and I, we can, uh, maybe check out, you know, what's around. Would you like that? You know you were thinking it. All right. So I was speaking with Nas about titles uh, the other day, and um, we were talking about how, uh, you know, good titles for, for shows, and he came up with a really good one for going to Target. Um, and and he, we kind of wondered about why nobody had really taken it yet and I'm, I'm still gonna leave it out there I'm gonna still look there's a but there's a there's a really good um, but mine is always gonna be let's go be creepy and target you just can't mess with a classic um, it's funny when I left the house um, it was completely blue sky, and uh, within 10 minutes now, looks like it's going to rain again. Welcome to the PNW in the wintertime. A case mostly. talk about that's my casting of the year right there really nice no moving parts yet filming here the other day when I was here looking at these there were a bunch of u-boats and stuff in the way so I didn't really get to look at them up close 
but uh, they're 10 bucks and they seem to have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's of articulation, I don't know. But um, the Hulk figure feels huge compared to like, you know, these couple. Iron Man feels a bit more substantial, I guess. <laughs> God. And always clean up there after yourself. If you make a mess. Uh, but anyway, the Hulk is feels really heavy, and so does the uh, Thanos, and each comes with a little projectile, I guess. I don't know. But kind of cool. Um, I do like the sculpt, I like the face. Let me know if you picked one of these up out there. If, if you, what do you think of them? Are you careful? Also unexpected to see here. I hadn't really heard about these coming out before. Callie, Phoebe, and Trevor. $10 figures. Um, Look like five point articulation, maybe a little more. <laughs> and you can do yucky things with the ghost, I guess. That's fun, Slimer. Did you know about these jersey? Of course you did. And then they've got these things, which of course have little projectiles on them, which is always good for the younger set. Oh, come on, man. Marvel, you don't need to put out that garbage. Just put out decent figures of your properties for less than college education. Anyway, I believe that's it. That's that, Mattress Man. That's that. So, if you remember, this is like one of those really it's sort of a grail figure from the set back in the day. Has the little extendable tongue that's good on it. Um, blind box, you don't know which one you get, which is good business sense anymore, of course. <sighs> but anyway, there's that. Yeah. All right, so. What we've got going on outside is called a snowstorm. And most of the country, um, you know, knows how to deal with snow. But we don't here in Oregon, honestly. Um, so when it does snow here in the valley, um, everything shuts down. Everything. So before going... Um, going to ground here this this weekend and we're experiencing the cold snap just like everybody else is although not quite as bad as parts of the country like Montana and places like that where they're getting some serious negatives and in Chicago where I spent a long part of my life um but we're you know we will we will make it through we will rebuild but before uh, all of that went on, I, I did go out and get some of the, the essentials, okay? So I just wanted to show you some of those essentials. Now, um, of course, I'm talking about Batman. Um, 
I have been on a tear picking up these um, uh, detective comics. I've been paying a buck an issue. As you can see, they came out at a lot more than that. Um, but um, the artwork is fantastic. This story is really good. Um, and um, like I said, I haven't, I haven't picked up some Batman in a while. So I'm kind of happy to have picked it up. Batman and Spectre. Oh yeah. Um, I'm trying to keep the glare off of these as much as I can so that you can actually enjoy them. Um, but yeah, when I heard that it was going to snow really badly and stuff, I went out to pick up a few other sundry things that we needed for the house here. Um, and, uh, while I was doing that, of course, I went by Radar Comics, um, and I, I ran in there really fast, and I said, um, if my wife calls, I'm not here. It felt like being in a bar, you know, back, back in my single days, although actually I never had anybody calling around looking for me. I had people calling around looking to avoid me. Uh... But, uh, again, I've been picking these up for a buck, which uh, beats the cover price substantially and um, just shows to go, yeah, uh, they produce a ton of Batman stuff. Um, and then I, I've been picking up this, uh, these issues of Convergence. Um, I I'm really kind of love alternative realities and stuff like that in DC. Not so much in Marvel, and that's what the cinematic stuff is stuck on these days. Anyway, the only other thing that I got um, came via um, Amazon directly to our door, and that is uh, another Hammer horror great, uh, The Twins of Evil. Twins of Evil is another one of these vampire movies that was done in the wake of all of the Dracula popularity. Christopher uh, Lee decided he was done playing that part. And so Hammer, in order to try to keep their um, money coming in, they did these vampire films that had stars like Ingrid Pitt. And in this case, it has this, uh, this pair of uh, English twins who show off their twins together. Um, it's a show for adults, okay? I don't have to explain my jokes. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, I mean, that's where I am. I am, I am stuck inside. Been here all day with the family. Um, car doors are all stuck shut. You know, it's, it's really, it's kind of cute how, uh, how everybody just doesn't know how to deal with, you know, freezing water here. <coughs> and that's your reminder not to smoke. All right, folks. Thank you very much for coming out here to the Monkey Shine Lab. We know lots of other people doing the same kind of content we do. Probably have a better look going on, better hair, and not in a moldy old bathrobe, but... We appreciate it when you come by and spend a few minutes of your life with us. We do. And if you think about it, hit the subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button, you can also hit the little bell thing and customize your alerts so that you will always know when we put up another 10 minutes to half an hour of time-wasting horse shit. Of quality programming involving your favorite types of nerd. Anyway... All right, I'm going to go back out and look out the window at the snow. It's got to be a couple of inches. It's horrible. But hopefully the thaw will come. And until then, I'll just keep making stupid videos. Bye.